world politics is all about maps until at one point it becomes all about Shakespeare. Not all countries in the world agree that Russia is the enemy. And if you see the way that the countries have voted in the United Nations, uh, then you really see that the possibility of what is called sanctions leakage is actually very, very big. Look in Europe. What we have seen there in the last two years is the greatest unity in Europe since the end of the Cold War. There is an argument for a European strategic autonomy that would force us to cooperate more effectively and maybe also be able to execute missions in areas where maybe the U.S. does not have such a vital interest. We all have an individual responsibility towards the decarbonization agenda and halving emissions by 2030 and 2050. What happens when you go sustainable, that is that you improve your cash flows, you make them more stable, you become more relevant for your clients, and thereby you stabilize your business. The big question for me in this economics versus security question, and this ties back to sovereignty, is who are we relying on during the energy transition?